Good morning, everybody. I will be honest with you today. I don't like all this stuff. It's hard. It requires me to think more. It requires me to process how I'm connecting with people. And as I shared with the, the staff of St. John Lutheran Church, we had a, a staff roundtable meeting yesterday. As I shared with the leaders of Cypress Chapel yesterday, um, it's been really hard for me. And I know it's been hard for you too because our schedules are different. The way we interact with one another is definitely changed. And with the president's announcement the other day, looks like we're going to be in a situation like this for a little bit longer. I know my home state, Virginia, is doing a stay-at-home order that they put that out for uh, all the way until June 10th. And so for my friends who are still in Virginia, uh, that's a long time. We've been doing this here in Texas now for uh, a week, and it's already been hard enough. But we're, we're pushing through it. We're looking forward to seeing how God is using this COVID-19 situation and how maybe our schedules will look different in the future. Maybe how we interact with people will be altered for our relationships and our interactions with one another. And so it, it's good sometimes that God shakes things up because we've been in a rhythm of busyness and overscheduling and going from one thing to the next. And so now we take a break. We're at home. We're resting. Maybe we're sleeping more than we have in a long time. And God says, take this time to reflect on your close relationships and on your relationship with me. So our devotion today, again, from Bear Grylls' book, Soul Fuel, uh, this one's entitled, Eyes Front. Henry Ford was right. When everything seems to be going against you, remember that the airplane takes off against the wind, not with it. Struggles are part of life, and we all need renewed courage from time to time. So it's comforting to read words like these from someone as great as King David. I am in trouble, he wrote. My eye is clouded and weakened by grief, my soul and my body also, from Psalm 31. Nobody can go through life without moments like these. But if we read on, we see another essential truth. In the tough times, we find out the most about where our trust lies. David says, I trust confidently in you and your greatness, O Lord. You are my God. When hard times come, it's tempting to look back and long for things to be the way that they were. But we are called always to look forward, not back. That's where God is leading us. Look up, not down. Ahead, not back. That's where our help comes from. And that's where our courage gets restored and renewed. I'll be honest, I was hoping that we'd be allowed to gather and worship on Easter but from our current government and uh, regulations, it, it's kind of given us the thought that uh, we're still going to be in our homes. We're going to figure out the best way that Cypress Chapel and all of my pastor friends around the country, we're, we're trying to work on a solution so that God's people will hear his word and will be inspired by the story of Jesus' resurrection. This Easter is going to feel a lot like that first Easter where the disciples were locked in an upper room, afraid and fearful for their lives. We're going to be at home. We're, we're not afraid of what the Roman soldiers will do to us, but we're a little aware of what this current sickness and situation is. But don't be afraid. Jesus comes to us and he says, Peace be with you. I'm alive. Jesus has come for us, and we look forward, not back, on what lies ahead. As always, if there's anything you want to reach out to me and talk to me about, or talk to other folks in our church, we're here for you. We're here for prayers, for comfort, even if that's through a text or a phone call or an email. God be with you and strengthen you in this time. We look forward to seeing each other again very soon.